Georgie, I hope you've been having a great week. Now, to start off, I have a quick question for you. Do you know where I am? I'll give you one hint. I'm at church. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm at the garden just outside the front entrance of church. And if you remember from the unnamed kids episode a while ago when I tried to plant a bunch of Andrews, well, I didn't actually plant him, but here in the garden, so many things are growing. And I thought that it'd be great to see those things that are growing here in God's garden. So let's go on a little tour and check out what's happening around the garden. We have potatoes and broccoli and kale and cabbage too. We have purple things. Just kidding. I think they're called kohlrabi. Organic Bob, can you double check on that? Thanks. We also have radishes. Yum. Ooh, and we have basil and peppers so we can make pasta. And we have jalapenos. Those might be a little too spicy for me. Do you like spicy foods? Wow. Look at those yummy tomatoes. Uh, I'll wait until they're red. And we have onions and shallots. Lots of yummy things. Not only are plants growing, but we also have little insects here too. Look, that's a potato bug. And we have a special camouflaged friend. Do you see it? Right there. It's a grasshopper. Wow, there are so many wonderful things growing here in the garden. And if you think about it, our time spent at church is a lot like the time that these vegetables spend here in the garden. They spend time growing. And we spend time growing too at church, growing in our love and understanding of God and creation of our friends and family, and of our community. Not just our church community, but our neighbors as well. We're all connected. The bugs, the vegetables, the humans, the puppets, all of the things that make up God's garden here at church and in our world as a whole. It's a beautiful thing. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. All the different ways that we can grow. Are you growing a garden at home? If you are, I'd love to see a picture. Put it in my mailbox. Or maybe you're growing in other ways. Are you learning a new hobby or skill? Write me a letter or draw me a picture and put it in my mailbox. I'd love to see it. We'll also be meeting some newly growing animals. And our friend George is going to talk about some ways that we can grow together as a community here at church. So that's what we're going to be talking about on this week's little mini summer series episode. Let's get into it. Wait, what's in there? Chickens. Chickens? Do they have names? One's named Chicky and one's named Ella. Chicky and Ella. Did you name them, AJ? No, Heidi named them. Heidi named them? You named Ella. Oh. I named Ella, she named Chicky. That's awesome. Chicky's oh. the black one, Ella's the white one. Okay. And Ella's mine and Chicky's Heidi's. Awesome. Okay. What's that? A raspberry. A raspberry. Oh, they must be what one? What one? And you can find them right here at church. Take the darkest red one. They're in the right. Hey everybody, it's 
George here. And just like Georgie said, uh, there are a few different opportunities that we have to grow as a community together uh, just in the next upcoming week or so. First off, here at Georgie's Mailbox here, we have our outdoor activity box. And in this box, there are a bunch of different bags with different outdoor activities that you can do. And each one's a little different. So there's a different activity in each one with things that you can create and make. There are butterfly wings and this one, so you can come around and enjoy all of the outdoor things that are happening here in God's garden at church. Bring friends, bring family, uh, and grow in community together. Also, on Wednesday, there'll be another parking lot music uh, dinner event here at church in the parking lot. Information can be found on the website for that. We'll have a bouncy castle uh, and four square and all these outdoor activity bags will be here as well. So it's another way to come and be together in community at church. Also, if you're watching this at home on Sunday morning, we'll be meeting uh, at Lake Nokomis for a children's and families beach hangout day. We'll have popsicles and sandcastle building materials. So bring your suit. Uh, we'll have some snacks and juice boxes and things provided, but we'd love to see you there and continue to grow in community together. I hope that you have a great week. You all are fantastic and loved and appreciated. Uh, and I can't wait to hopefully see you soon.